Folliculitis is common skin infection, which is characterized by small pus-filled bumps, which is called pustules. You can see these pustules on the images. Folliculitis most commonly affects male aged 15 to 35, but it can occur at any age and any sex. Most commonly affected areas are bird region, buttocks and thighs. Most common pathogen which causes folliculitis is Staphylococcus aureus. It causes folliculitis in 55% of cases. So more than half cases of folliculitis is caused by Staphylococcus aureus which is resident of our skin flora. How to differentiate and how to guess if it's Staphylococcus aureus uh, infection. Such infection characterized, uh, characterized by clusters of pustules. You can see these clusters. It's very characteristic. Uh, pus filled uh, pustules, you can see. But sometimes they can be solitary solitary on the legs for example or on the thighs he on the hips also on buttocks region is also common usually it happens because of shaving or ingrow of hairs second most common cause of folliculitis is pseudomonas aeruginosa it's also bacteria it causes folliculitis in 20% of cases. It means it's also common problem. And how can we differentiate? Uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa usually comes from hot tubes or swimming pools because this bacteria can survive in hot water. That's why it can affect person from hot tubes. And uh, you can see different, uh, different from uh, Staphylococcus aureus uh, infection and Pseudomonas aeruginosa, um, uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa uh, infection. It's also cluster-like, usually on back, also on chest uh, is uh, location of this uh, infection, and it uh, it occurs after swimming or batting in hot tub after several hours or several days. Usually it's self-resolving uh, uh, condition. And third most common cause of folliculitis is Malassezia furfur. It's a fungal infection and you can see what kind of what kind of pustules is here. Uh, these pustules uh, affect usually back also. Uh, and it's important that this Malassezia purpur causes small red bumps predominantly found on scalp, chest and back. And uh, th uh, this type of infection, Malassezia purpur, also causes seborrheic dermatitis and pityriasis versicolor. So one fungal infection can initiate several different types of disease. It's important. Now let's say what is risk factors. Risk factors for folliculitis is oily skin, shaving, wearing tight clothes, and working in hot and humid environment. Differential diagnosis. Differential diagnosis means that uh, some disease looks like folliculitis and we should differentiate, uh, differentiate folliculitis from other disease. Such diseases are acne vulgaris. In case of acne vulgaris, we have comedons, and uh, uh, and these comedons usually are not itchy. So folliculitis usually is itchy, but acne is not itchy. Uh, rosacea, uh, this rosacea usually affects face, and uh, it causes face redness. Uh, impetigo, impetigo causes uh, yellow crusts. Impetigo infection uh, also caused by uh, Staphylococcus aureus in many cases and it causes thick crusts, uh, yellow crust on the face. 
uh, and keratosis pilaris keratosis pilaris bumps is not filled with pus so in case of uh, folliculitis uh, this uh, this uh, bumps are filled with pus and in case of keratosis pilaris which usually occurs on arms and legs um, these bumps are not filled by pus that's how we can differentiate now let's say about treatment treatment usually uh, starts with um, local uh, antibiotics for example mimopyrocin or uh, fusidic acid uh, and sometimes as a second line treatment uh, dixocycline is uh, needed or cephalexin is needed also they are systemic antibiotics of course folliculitis usually have good prognosis uh, in case of treatment but if left untreated sometimes it has complications and complications include uh, severe skin infections such as cellulitis inflammation of cells uh, furuncles or carbuncles uh, furuncles uh, and carbuncles are more severe form of folliculitis actually that's all i wanted to say thank you very much thank you for your interest if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now